Hello, hello. Today we're going to be covering Hong Lu's base ego, Land of Illusion. But, um, again, I'm not guaranteed if this is the next sinner, but my guess is either Hong Lu or Merceau. Either way, I would definitely not be mad covering Merceau's ego, but let's go with Hong Lu's this time. Land of Illusion is a Zayn level ego. It has a 15 base with a plus 10 roll, blunt damage, and an attack weight of 3. After the attack, you heal 15 SP. On hit, you inflict 5 sinking potency. After attack, you inflict negative 2 SP loss efficiency on all allies. Now, what that will do is anytime they're going to lose Sandy, they're going to lose 2 less Sandy. So, it's very niche play areas that it would be useful, but if you spam it out, your egos will actually become fairly cheap, but a lot of scenarios you cannot fully take advantage of it. The passive of this ego is called Ripple. At the start of your combat phase, heal SP by the amount of your highest absolute resin. Which, this could be good if you're running a resin team and you want to have high SP, although SP is not that high to maintain, especially with most Hong Lu IDs. A lot of Hong Lu IDs actually have him regain SP in quite a lot of ways. Now, this isn't necessarily bad, because this ego costs 5 more sanity than any of the base Zayans, well, not any, but most are all that we covered so far, which makes it a whopping 15 sanity to use, it'll cost you 1 lust, and 5 gloom to use, so that is a hefty, hefty amount of gloom, especially for a base ego. Now, actually, 6 costs for a Zayan, a base Zayan, nonetheless, is kind of nutty, but... That's not where we're going to stop, because your resistances, well, they're not good, right? Yeah, yeah, you're Zayn. They're pretty bad. Fatal to Wrath, Endure to Gloom, and Fatal to Envy. Right? Pretty bad. Could be worse, I suppose, but it could easily be better. But what can you do? Well, we're to the drip of the Zigo, and it's quite disappointing. As all base Zayans, well, I mean most base Zayans, a couple of them are good. This is probably one of the better ones, being he is a little fancy, not not very, but a little, which is why I gotta give it like 2.5. I can't give it any higher. 2.5 is good, and this ego has quite low strength as well. I mean, its roll isn't the worst. It has three attack weight, but other than that, it's not doing too much. Although that doesn't make this a bad ego by any means at all. It's it's pretty good ego, but. Especially for base Zayans go, it's it's not bad, it's good, but these ratings are not reflecting that, so I gotta give it a, like a three for damage for strength. It's it just doesn't do much damage. This ego is actually fairly useful, being able to heal back every bit of SP you used upon law well, after attack and the clash win. So it's a very very affordable clasher in terms of sanity, but. 6 cost and 5 gloom definitely off puts that a little bit uh, at the same time though you're giving your allies less sanity cost for egos and well for anything really which is actually very useful so this is a oddly useful Zayn base Zayn so I'll go to that like a 6 right if nothing else, it's very useful just being able to pump it out in clashes and not worry about losing your SP. But, that's about it. Not the best Ego, not the worst. I'd say she's pretty useful for pumping out and winning clashes and healing yourself. But, other than that, it's not too crazy, right? You don't inflict too much of anything. The things you inflict to your allies are useful to an extent, but you're never really going to be able to use it to its maximum potential. Unless you're running Wingbeat Ishmael, then in that case, well, that, that's, that's a pretty good combo. But other than that, it's not the best. Still very good, but not the best. And I hope you have a good one.